In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use the work plane to interactively control a fall off. So, if I just select the radial fall off and uh, draw one out in this empty scene, and I'm just going to move my mouse to one side and hit Shift N to bring up the work plane properties pop over, and you'll see that when I rotate the work plane, the fall off follows along with it. So this is really useful because it gives you a lot of control. You can also offset it. So if I move it up in the Y, for instance. Um, you can basically place the work plane very precisely. I'm just going to hit uh, escape to clear the fall off and end to reset the work plane. So now if I hit F6 to bring up my presets, I'm going to double click the old man head and uh, zoom in slightly on him. So what if we decide that we want to have um, a fall off going, sort of coming out from around his eye. Well what you could do, there's two ways of doing this, I'm going to show you the slightly less precise way first. If you hit control home it will center the work plane to your view and just for clarity I'm going to go to the work plane panel at the top and just enable draw axes just so I can see exactly where the center of the work plane is and that seems to be a fairly good place but we could uh, fine tune it by hitting shift end and bringing up the work plane properties and uh, moving it uh, up and down. The only problem with this is this is working in world space so it might be a bit fiddly to... Um, it's not working in the work plane's own space, it's working in the actual world space so it might take a bit of sort of trial and error to get, to get it exactly where you want it. But uh, now we can draw out a radial fall off so let's do that. Draw it out from the center and I'm just going to go in the properties panel here and make sure that it really is centered. So now at this point if I was to um, hit R to bring up a scale tool, you can see that because of the uh, default action center, it's put it in a slightly weird place that isn't that useful, but we can easily get around that by going to action center origin, and that will put the action center right in the center of our work plane. So if I hit the plus and minus keys, I can increase the size of the handles, and now by dragging on any of the uh, controls, I can perform my transform from the place that, uh, that we want. So I'm going to drop the tool and hit escape to clear the um, fall off and I'm going to hit end to reset the work plane and demonstrate the next method because um, probably a better known way of working but um, if you make a selection and you hit um, shift home it will align the work plane to that selection so now I can clear the selection and this time let's try a linear fall off so if I select a linear fall off and uh, Let's draw it out. You can see that the fall off is aligned to the work plane and if I move my mouse to one side and hit shift end I can still fine tune the rotation and position of the of the fall off and the work plane together by uh, transforming the, ro the um, work plane properties so let's say that I'm happy with this and now if I activate a um, let's do a, a move tool this time again it's put it in the um, default uh, action center but I'm going to go to origin once again and that's going to center it on our work plane and now when I um, do the transform you can see that the fall off and the work plane are working together to um, to control how the transform is being applied to the mesh so um, having done that I can hit escape to clear my um, fall off and end to reset my work plane and uh, thank you very much for watching this quick tip I hope you found it helpful